uh, Neil, defeat this afternoon at Eastleigh, just reflect on how uh, disappointed you were with the result. Uh, disappointed with the result, um, disappointed with their, particularly their second and third goals, really, really poor goals. Um, I thought the performance, certainly second half, was, was pretty good between the boxes. There wasn't a lot I could fault. Um, we've created a hatful of really good chances, probably four or five really good chances, and we haven't taken them. Um, so that's disappointing. And you know the old cliche, both boxes, we didn't mark well enough for their third goal. I think we've got to do better for their second goal. The ball gets put in behind. I think uh, we need to sweep that one up and do better. Um, and you know you can't concede three goals away from home and expect to come away with much from the game. Conceding the second goal on the hour mark, two minutes later, Callum Howe gets obviously a goal back for us. And at that time, you're thinking, OK, can we get something from this game? Just how concerning was that third goal right near the end? Well, to be fair, if Marshy takes his chance, you know, it's a great ball. He's got to score from there. That's two all. The game then could, could go either way at that point. Um, and the third goal, you know, Coxie talks to the centre-halves about marking in the box, not, not playing in, in areas and actually marking and having body contact and we don't. And I still think even then the header, I still think it goes in the near post, it's not a powerful header. I'm still sort of a little bit disappointed with, with both parts of that one. Um, and then Fallow has a great chance straight after to go 3-2 and make it exciting, but we didn't take it. And we've made it hard for ourselves, but I've said before, you know, our defensive record is poor. We've conceded miles too many goals. And until we solve that, we're not going to win as many games of football as we And with Dippo and Dan Batty both missing this afternoon, just how big of a blow were they not having them this they're, afternoon? They're two good players, we know that. I think everyone knows they're two good players, so it was always going to be tough with, with what we had left. We tried to come up with a way that we thought, you know, these are a big team, so we, we had quite a big team out there. But we know we've got imbalances. We know we want to improve certain areas of the pitch to give us different options. Um, and we'll keep working at three. that, but uh, you know, the players that are out, that are out there, I thought they performed okay between the boxes, but we missed our chances and we didn't defend our box well enough, and that, that loses your games of football, unfortunately. And with you talking there about defensively, obviously we're not wanting to concede as many goals as we have done, face the trip to Chesterfield on Tuesday night, just how tough of a game will that be? Of course it is, but like I just said to the boys there, you, if we go in with a, with a, a negative mindset, oh, Oh, you know, we haven't got this or we haven't got that, then we're beaten before we start. We've got to go in and relish the challenge, try and come up with a game plan. That's my challenge to, to, to you know, be give us the best chance of, of getting a result from the game. And the players have got to try and step up and embrace it. Simple as that.